there she is, the beautiful Tina. So a video about Tina, I have been blown away by people's reactions. I knew she was a special dog and I just asked people to do kind things around the world and I wanted to share some of those with you. It's a mixture of photos, videos, people went on walks, they wore bandanas, they did paintings of Tina. And this video is just a small sample of some of the amazing things that people did. So Tina had been living her life on a little short chain. She'd had so many puppies and really just a miserable life. I mean, that first photo captured everything. Didn't really know she was gonna survive. The first five days were very touch and go, but she blossomed into an incredible dog. Even though she was sick for those first few days, her spirit shone through immediately and she, she just captivated people. Was that the best day you've ever had? <laughs> You're exhausted. So obviously Tina was a really special dog. She was only with us for six months, but she just was, she was something spiritual and beautiful and special about her. Like we were obviously upset, myself and Jules and Sybil and Valeria and Rod, the people who looked after her, but people have been just as upset online, which is weird. I can, I can totally understand it, but it's so, unusual that people 10,000 kilometers away are like literally crying and I couldn't look at the most of the videos and stuff that people were sending me. Megan is editing this because they were just making me too sad. Happy also but the thought and care of some of the things that people did for Tina were just amazing. Tina was famous for her bandanas. So people all over the world, I was seeing people in America and South America and Europe and Australia wearing bandanas in Tina's honor, which is just amazing. Hard to put into words how beautiful that was. Small dogs, big dogs, all types of dogs wearing bandanas. <laughs> the other lovely thing that people did was obviously take their dogs for walks. Now, people take their dogs for walks every day, but you're probably like me, some days you rush it and you, you just get it done. But I think on Sunday especially, people went on a lot of very special walks with their dogs in Tina's honour. Someone else that people were doing was Tina was famous for her hammock. And honestly, the first time I put Tina in the hammock, it was just to make a nice, cute little video. I thought people would like that. But then after that, she actually enjoyed the hammock. You'd put her in there and she would want to stay in there for 10, 20 minutes, which is kind of incredible, really. So a lot of people also gave their dogs treats. I think Tina is responsible for putting one kilo onto every dog around the world because people gave their dogs so many treats but also so many hugs on Saturday and Sunday when, when they were doing kind things. So Tina, they're all gonna have to go on a diet this week uh, after getting all those lovely treats. Because of what happened to Tina, we've got you a new toy. Here's your toy, look, you ready? Just go and get it. Some people have also done incredible paintings, drawings, little children, professional artists, and some of them capture Tina like even better than a photograph, to be honest. A lot of people were asking me about auctioning them off and, and things like that. And we're gonna do something amazing for Tina's hospital, which will be just over there, to raise the money for it. I have a few ideas. Lots of people send me ideas. It's just not quite 
my headspace is not quite there to do it yet but I have had some like initial thoughts and initial ways to to go about it so it'll happen very fast I just need a couple of days to get over Tina to be honest <laughs> I think what Tina means to me is, I can't even put it into words, she's just, she's just everything and she, she will be everything in the future going forward, what's built in her name. So in terms of Tina's legacy, definitely going to build a hospital. I hope to do that within, you know, less than six months, which is ridiculous timeline, but you know, it's going to be a big, expensive, complicated thing to do. But the trickier things are the logistics and the permissions and that sort of thing, but I'm going to get it done in Tina's name. You're going to walk in there, there's going to be a huge, the biggest picture of Tina's smiling face uh, to greet all the sick animals as they come in. And I think that's a wonderful legacy to her. And I just wanted to say thank you. I haven't been able to read all the messages, even 10% of them, because there were so many. And I'm slowly looking at some of the pictures. I'll look at them for 10 minutes and then I get a bit sad. So I've got them all saved and I'll, I'll look at a few each day because they're all a wonderful tribute to, to Tina. So thank you very much. And I think it's just amazing that Tina was in all our lives and, and what she meant to everybody. So thank you.